What is going on guys? We've got Schneider 92. Now he is just a single upgrade from his previous card and he has now got the incisive and also the power shot. So we have now gone from this 91 with, to be honest, a bit more than just a single upgrade, which is at least nice enough. He already had the 5-5, five five, and I believe, yeah, it was incisive pass he had prior to this, and he is coming in at a whopping 6 million coins. Crazy price. But the previous card was 1.4, to be fair to him. We can now get the 88 at literally 79,000, which is nice. And in terms of the card, looks good. It looks very, very good. Whether I pay 6 mil is a bit of a question. People are saying either basic or hunter. So you have got him as a controlled explosive. If you kept him at basic, that's what he would kind of go to. 90 pace, 91 shooting, 96 passing, and 94 on the dribbling. It's decent enough, to be honest. If you went with the hunter, you would end up with controlled explosive still, 96 and 95. Definitely putting him more in the attacking side. Like we're looking center forward, striker. You don't really have too much defensive on this guy because he is all out baller whether you'd want him kind of in that left mid pushing forward into like a left wing could be worth the question to be honest i would kind of like him sitting outside the box pinging power shots left right and center great long shot shot power is nice dribbling wise looks fantastic alongside that five star skill he's going to be absolutely incredible passing is absolutely max as well he is going to be for real madrid as well so that is going to be the next four matches, which will be an interesting one. I will find out who they are actually playing in the next four whilst we're playing to see if he is likely to get that double upgrade because we could see a 94 Schneider at some point. I know full well that they're not playing Barcelona, so that's a, a good news that we should be able to get a few goals. So let's have a look at Schneider. Six million coins is the asking price at the moment. Can it drop? Have you packed him? Let me know down below. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to u 7 buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. So in terms of the teams they're playing, they are playing 9th, 5th, 11th, and 17th in their next four matches. There's a good chance at at least a one upgrade at a minimum. Good turn from him. Good pace. Very, very good pace. Can we get a little one in? Ooh, Henri, try and capitalize, get the tackle. Nearly. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing a little bit more. What I what I want is I just I love the power shot plus. It's it's obviously got to be in the right zone. You can't just do it from anywhere. Good take. Oh, don't be a red card. No, it's gonna be yellow. That's that's not the animation. Yes, we just got a yellow. So we can't do another tackle like that. But in terms of playing, then that it should mean that they should definitely get it. The question is, could they get the 11? Very much like City, they're another team that I'm like, if they really put all out, they definitely could get 11 goals in, in four matches. Whether they do is, is kind of the real big question because it's definitely not easy. And I think it's easy to think, oh, that's a great ball. Oh, no, he's not even moved the keeper. Very well played. Thought he might have bought him out or something. What do we got? Ooh, 91, nine. Oh, okay, yeah, he's going to be a free kick taker if we can get one. But I do think Real Madrid are the, the best chance that they've uh, they've got. Man City and, and Real Madrid are two of the teams that I can imagine should be able to score a decent amount. So that will be an interesting one to see. I was going for a, I was going for a power shot there. And we, can, we, can we get something? Ooh. Oh, get the power! Oh, I was gonna say get the power shot off that. I have still yet to make anybody be able to do that properly. <laughs> He's just a cheat code, I swear. That finesse is not on. It, it's literally not even set up properly, and it still goes in. The real question, though, for for Schneider is: Is he really worth six mil? Oh, I wanted the power shot there because. I don't know about you, but I definitely haven't put millions into a, a coin card. Like I have I have never spent millions on a card off the market. It just unless I'm doing a review. If I'm doing a review, then that's fair game, but he's been sold straight away. Like it's not as if he's staying in the team. So it's kind of that point of is anybody worth that much? And I know full well that obviously Oh, that was close. Obviously the players are 
for some reason just going crazy because the only way of getting these big boys is packing them. When you're looking at a Cole Palmer from Future Stars that's still 3.2, like you wouldn't, you'd barely get one or two. Now it's every promo. There is at least two or three, two to eight million coin cards. Like that is nuts. You've got Ramirez at 4.8, Yaya at like 5.5. Five. You've got Schneider at six. I think Lucio is at 3.8 at the moment, extinct. It's it's absolutely crazy to think, are they actually even worth it? Because, I, oh, I could get a goal for Schneider here if he's not going to get rid of him. Um, it, it's very difficult to kind of say if he's worth that amount of coins. I think the cards are always going to be brilliant. And it's kind of how you know the best cards because... There's no reason for them to be that priced. Obviously, with the, the upgrades, they're going to have some extra value. We saw massively with the road to the finals of a Lukaku being 2 million all week. Like, that is, I think it was like 1.5. It was Ansu Fati that was literally like, he's still 2 million now. And I'm like, Ansu Fati is good, but 2 million is absurd for a price. Into his feet. Seems to be playing this role oh, nicely. It's, it's the physicality side of him. That That is something he definitely doesn't have. And, and I, I don't care what chem style you put on him. He's most definitely not getting any kind of better with that, that physical side of him. It's just not his game, to be honest. Good work out for him. Ooh, lovely. He's got a good left stick on him. This is where the 5-5 five five really comes into practice for him. As we find a McTominay looking for a final winner. But I think in terms of a cam, he definitely got the better playstyle pluses, which is always nice. Always like a good power shot on any midfielder. If he's kind of more central, you'll definitely be able to see him popping up on the edge of the box. Probably playing him more on this kind of lamb roll isn't going to do him too much justice because you're not really going to get a power shot from here. Like The only way you're getting a power shot from here is either praying for a shot like that or potentially trying to go for a corner, maybe trying to make the save. And if you've got somebody who can head it, again, that's going to be a little bit of a farming technique that you can go with. Why on earth did he push up so much? Ferland Mendy is going to do that, though. And then, obviously, with the incisive pass, that's always a good one to have. It's never never going to be a problem being able to pass that little bit better. What on earth was that pass? Thank God Ferland Mendy's there. Pass it in. Lovely. Henri. There. Nice. He's got, who's the guy? He's got Frimpong on him. Frimpong's definitely got the pace on him as well. Oh, little sidestep. Little inside. Oh, we tried one more. We should have gone outside. Nice. Oh, he's kept it into him. Little, 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 little. Oh, he's not even, it's not even registered. There it is. Go for the power shot. Why not? Oh, <laughs> Oh, we can see him in the center. Get the touch. Get the volley. Dudek with a beautiful save. Lovely. Trying to put him more central to see how he kind of fits in there. Obviously, when it's kind of close combat. Uh, close combat. <laughs> close combat. <laughs> close quarters. Oh, R9's going to absolutely slap us but it's going to be a bit harder to, to kind of navigate purely on that physicality basis but he definitely could still get through he's got the pace for it he's not like he's completely utterly useless there i just kind of wish he'd push that little bit more into Messi's feet slightly into Henri. get the little nugget what was that power shot what I, this is what i don't get i get the power shot works mainly with their stronger foot but he's a 5-5 five five. why on earth is he not left footing it across goal there surely it just goes for whatever foot is is the pr predominant one there oh it's found the movement it's found the movement near post he's not moving the key but I, I really should learn that he's not moved him the whole game why would he change it now See if we can find someone. I, I, this is where I would love the power shot. It's beautiful off a corner, like straight off the bat. Fake it till you make it. 
Oh, that's a good ball. Can we get it? Oh, every time. I feel like he's hit the post three times already off there. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, and again. I was hoping to go more far post if we could have. There he is. Fake. Oh, and he's got the penalty. Beautiful. Great play. Lovely five-star skiller, even though it's a four. Manages to bury it. Now, can he get the goal? He's not up for the penalty, but we're going to take it anyway. Ooh, he's, he's, he's trolling me going down the middle, isn't he? Yes, I knew, I knew he's game mind games. Bring it back to 3-3. Show me what that 6 mil can do. So the question is, is he still worth it? Because when we look at a cam, the 5-5 five five is ticked. Incisive pass, I'd say it's a tick. Power shot's a tick. Even the stats, you can go just a basic. It's, it's pretty decent across the board. You look at a hunter, just gets even better. You end up with the 96 pace, 95, 94, 90. Physicality, it's half and half. Like he is 5'7", so natural size is going to be an issue when it comes to somebody like a Yaya or a Hullet. He's never going to outbeat them. That could be 99. It's He's still just body size would not hold a chance. So he ticks every box. Pace, shooting, skills, weak foot, even play style pluses to be fair. Passing, dribbling, everything's on an absolute level. And the arguments are, doesn't this card really? Yes, it's it's just incisive. There's no power shot. I probably could live without the power shot. And that's where I think the progression is kind of hindered a little bit. Because you're looking at the difference. And I know there's still upgrades available. But between a 1.4 million coin card, which is already very expensive, to a 6 million. If he gets an upgrade, does he go up? Does he go twice as much? It's an exaggeration, obviously, but that's the difference now with the progression is, is the hard bit of going from an extra four and a half mil for a potential two upgrade. Now, Real Madrid do have some games where I feel like they should be able to get the 11, but it most definitely is not easy to get 11 goals in four matches. There won't be many teams that do it. Real Madrid, Man City, like I said, could be the ones that I would put money down for. It, whoever they're playing, I, I just feel like that could be a case quite easily. Now, in terms of Schneider himself, I think he's phenomenal. He's a very, very top-end cam, and I feel like he was there from the start. With a 5-5, it's naturally going to be one of the better cams we can get, whether I'd put him over a team of the year Messi, even a Jude Bellingham. Bellingham is a funny one because he's still got incredible amounts of box-to-box of -box in him. Like, in terms of stats, that's just phenomenal in itself. Ronaldinho is going to come to mind, even though 14 and a half million is, is nuts in itself as well. But he does put himself in the mix of a 96 Zidane, a 96 Pele, even to some extent over a, a future star Zico. Is he worth that amount? And to be honest, I think he probably is. Zidane's a funny one because he's kind of got more of a... Even though I definitely like Zidane more as the attacking mid, he can kind of play that defensive box-to-box -box side. He's not great at the defending, but he puts a leg in and he does enough. Same with uh, kind of, who else was I going to say? Not Zico. No, Zico's more of the cam. What is he? He's five. I don't know how tall Zico is, actually. He doesn't have it. That's very weird. But in terms of Z, I'm, I don't think he's over six foot. I'm pretty sure. Let me know down below. I'm pretty sure he's under six foot. But very similar to Zico. It's it's Zidane that I'm thinking. The difference is Schneider is nowhere near a defensive player. He can't play that box to box. You'd have to have a defensive mid or a box to box slash defensive mid with him in the midfield of a two. Or you have two box to boxes and him as the cam and then play him off the striker. That's the best place for, for Schneider, or Schneider. Same as Ronaldinho, same as Zico. He is an, an out and out attacking mid. There is no going back, getting a tackle. That just isn't in his repertoire. He is very much just get the goals. And he is dropping. Is anybody paying for this? 5.6, 7.6. Jeez, imagine you've just lost two and a half million straight off the bat. Like that's, well, one and a half million, give or take. He more than likely will drop down even more. Whether I see him dropping down loads will be an interesting one. Yaya's at 5.4. Brolin's extinct at about 280, 185, a million, 3.8 extinct, 4.8, 4.8 extinct. And even if we look at the last heroes, like 1.7 for Mascherano, 
Roy Costa, he never, he just never got going, to be honest with him. Tevez has gone up a little bit. I swear he was 3.8. We got 5.9 for company. Like, yeah, he's he's going to hold that price. I, I see him holding over 5 mil, which is nuts in itself. He's a 10 out of 10, obviously. He's got everything. The, the Literally, the only thing to increase Schneider is literal rating increases. You can't get a better weak foot or skill move. You can add a play star plus. I wouldn't take any of them away. I think they're perfectly fine. And stats can only get better. So let me know down below if you did manage to get him. If you did, massive dub. Massive, massive dub. And I hope I get him as well. <laughs> take care.